Most of you watching have probably had scallops at some point, but have no idea where they come from. And that's a shame, because they're actually really cute. They come in these gorgeous shells and have the most beautiful eyes of any creature I have ever seen. And because October happens to be peak scallop season, we're gonna take a little field trip today from Boston to the island of Nantucket, where we'll go and find some fresh scallops that we're gonna cook up right then and there. Don't forget to like the video and smack that subscribe button. Let's go. It is five in the morning right now. I really am not a morning person, but we are headed to the ferry where we're gonna to be going to Nantucket. Prime scallop season right now, and we are going to get the best of the best. In fact, I've got my wetsuit in the back of the car, and I'm going to be diving for them. We'll see you there. We just made the ferry by like three minutes. I was going to kill Manny if we missed it. Just landed in Nantucket. The ferry ride wasn't too bad. I fell asleep. I took a nice little nap. It was early. Now we're here and we're ready to go scalping. And this right here is the guy. What's, What's cracking? What's up, Rob? Good, 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 man. So this is Rob. I'd call you a, a master fisherman. Master man. Or I'm seaman, just... or seaman. No. You're fired. I love to show from like the very, very start where stuff comes from. Yeah. And you kind of take that even to a next level. A couple weeks ago, we mentioned Nantucket, we mentioned scallops, and you were like, let's do it. I've never caught scallops before, but I reached out to Ray. Ray is like born and raised. I'm just excited to taste some of your food. See, I'm going to cook for you. This is a this is a catch cook type deal, right? Cold water scares me. Water, we're going to have a lot of shrinkage today. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? We're not gonna be in like super deep water, but moving around, these are some pretty rad fins. These are really good fins. Thank you. You see that? Um, a mask and snorkel, booties. Did you bring a wetsuit? Yeah. Good. I always have my wetsuit. This flag indicates you're diving in the area. In case a boat comes running around, they're not gonna run you over. Your Nantucket base golf has to be two and a half inches wide. Manny's already got like the perfect built-in measuring tool, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What are the lax sticks for? I use the lax stick to grab the scallops because they're right on the bottom and I don't want to dive all the way down. All sure. the way it's, down? It's like eight feet. <laughs> I used to be a lax bro. Oh, God. This is a warm up for scalloping. Manny always thinks it's funny when he gets me when I pee. Let's see how he likes no privacy. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> We're in Madiket Harbor. Basically, they live in here in the eelgrass and on the sandbanks. Is that yeah, like, a big one or a small one? No, that's one? tiny. See, this was next year's crop right there. When we get big winds, they get pushed around. They get laid up on like little contour lines. Basically, you just want to cruise around and scoop them up. They won't really move away from you when you're when you're chasing them like that. A lot of times, you'll see them on the bottom. They'll be open about this much, and you'll see their filters and then their eyes as well. But they yeah, have the bright, bright blue eyes. Yeah. You gotta like work yourself in a little bit. So again, we're putting that red flag out there with the white cross. No boat should come near us. I got my pass here because they're very, very serious about you scalloping. They took some liberties on the spelling of the name there. I could be a Nicolas. Oh. Or should I click this? So here's the thing. We know there are scallops here. In fact, this one looks perfect. I brought all the things needed to make the perfect scallop dish, and just you wait. I cook scallops differently than anybody I have ever seen before, and I'm telling you right now that I have worked to perfect the scallop. We're gonna catch and cook these right on the beach after, and the way that I'm gonna teach you to cook them is perfect. The scallops are not ready for this. <laughs> I will be back. Get an egg. You see it? Get him, get him, get him. Sorry, the water's kind of foggy, so it's a little bit difficult for me to really take you through what's going on down there. But I 
simply cannot stress enough the fact that there are scallops everywhere. I mean, you dive down and they're just skirting across the floor. They just kind of clap themselves around somewhat aimlessly, it looks like, and they are literally everywhere. What I'm craving now is to just sit down in my element in front of a fire with some basic delicious ingredients and make some good heartwarming food. The crazy thing about the scallops is that you can actually wash them like almost pulsing oh, yeah. water, right? There's a lot of shells that are empty and those are dead or whatever they've been eaten. But the ones you know, you can start getting an eye for it and they're just, they're like, uh, almost like how a heart Yeah, I actually picked one up and it like <laughs> swam all the way up to the surface. One. And we got this. Double this. There were so many scallops. Yeah. And then this. Look at these things. There, I already ripped a couple open and ate them. You can see I'm holding them open. That right there is the, sc the scallop. And these ones are really small, right? And then you just. And this is not the clean way to do it, obviously, but this right here is like the sweetest. <laughs> Try it, man. Okay. Open your mouth. That's really, really good. All these right off the shore. I grabbed two, man. You can see right along the edge there how blue their eyes are. They're so pretty. And he's looking at you from every direction. He's like. Yo. Ow! Oh! He's got me! I'll sort through them now. Make sure that we just keep adults. That way next year's crop's good. Perfect scallop. Look at that. There's not much I should do to this. If you're a good chef, you should leave this. It's perfection. Thank you. It was fun. It was cool. I mean... It's a huge squirt. Almost got me in the face. He's such a pervert. It does not get any fresher than this. To think, I mean, we're literally sitting in the water where we caught them. These are all a year and a half old. Pop that open, straight out of the ocean. Get the guts out, pop that meat out. When you see them like pop, 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 you know, open and close, that's how they propel themselves through the water. They're so good raw. I mean, you're starting with like a masterpiece. They're that's how you there. make the best food though, you know? That's what separates the, the good from the great. You have your work cut out for you. I can't stop eating them raw. They're like little candies. Dark side up, hinge away. You push the knife in just slowly and then slide it up along the top. So as close it. to the top as yep. I can get. Yep. And then that breaks the muscle. Now the reason you hold dark side up as a righty is because the meat's not dead center like you would think. Almost like our heart, like it's over to the left a little. Is you want to slide the knife in vertically almost. Just pinch the orange gut. Don't go under it. Roll it around the top. And then you just hold all the guts and take them off. Perfect scallop. There's something about these scallops. They're really, really tiny. You can see I can fit three in a shell as opposed to those big fat ones that you're used to seeing in a restaurant or a store. You don't get food more alive and more fresh than this. They're still clapping their mouths everywhere. They're all alive. Normally you see me in the kitchen with this thing right here, but now I've literally just gotten out of the water and I'm gonna be cooking all these scallops right here with Rob in the middle of the ocean. I don't think I've ever done this before, but again, I love taking these things out of my kitchen and doing things like this because where the hell else can you do this? All right, so to start, we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil in the pan. It's gonna be more than you think. Put enough oil where it's up to about a third to a half of the scallop. We're gonna leave half of it uncooked and half of it really, really seared. That's more than I would expect. I wanna have enough that it's gonna give it a nice crust. Build up kind of halfway up the scallop. All right, so now that our oil's piping hot, I'm gonna take my scallops one at a time. Remember what order you put them in and let them kind of grip to the bottom of the pan there and really kind of start to sear. You don't want them to be moving around. Everybody tries to mess around with their seafood when it's sticking to the pan, even things like meat. It will let itself go when it's done. If it's not getting off the pan, then you haven't started with a hot enough pan. So keep an eye on these. You see it's coming about halfway up the pan there, right? Yeah. As I'm watching that, I put this one in first, this one second. Just keep an eye on them. They're gonna probably finish in that order. If I give it a little nudge and it comes off the pan, it's probably ready. So I can take a peek at this one. Let's flip that over. Look at that, perfect, perfect golden brown in the top half, perfectly raw in the bottom half, my scallop is done. It's as simple as that. I'm willing to bet you you've never had a sear like that in a restaurant. I've never seen anybody cook a scallop on only one side, raw on the bottom, cooked on the top. I can't believe you're not gonna flip them. And that's a perfect scallop right there, golden. And I'm gonna sit that in either way that I want. We know the bottom is raw and the top is perfect. And I'll take all these out. Again, flip them over, look at that. Is that mm. not insane? You want that difference in that texture you have that really, really kind of raw bottom. It's cold, it's chewy, it's delicious. You got the crispy up on the top. It's golden brown, it's amazing. This is perfect. Take them out. Once they're in there, all you need is just, 
add the tiniest little bit of salt on top. Black salt is really cool because it gives that nice texture there. And if you want, we can add a little bit of butter. We can add a little bit more stuff. Try it with the texture of that with a little bit of salt. It literally is like I'm eating two different recipes at the same time. It's oh my gosh! So once we take these out, I'm gonna dump out my oil. And then we'll go in with the knob of butter and my pan's still smoking hot. So we'll let that butter get nice and brown. Should get really, really foamy too, which kind of goes along with everything we're trying to get here. A little bit of lemon zest. We don't need anything crazy here. And then we'll go in with just a little bit of salt into that butter. And that's literally all we need. Put a little bit of butter over the top of the scallop. And that's it right there. This would have never happened without you, Ray. I don't know. Have you ever had a scallop like that? No, no. I've never seen him cook that way. That might be the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. He left Unreal. That raw did an amazing job of like not taking away from the actual scallop but giving it that extra presence. The thing that we tasted out of the ocean, we didn't totally butcher the whole thing. People try to do way too much with food. I left half of it the same way that it was out of the shell. So I just want to say I've been around a lot of seafood and a lot of stuff my whole life on the water and I have never caught scallops before. This was a first. This was very, very exciting. Major thank you to both of you. Seriously, that was a blast. I, I love that all three of us kind of came from different angles on this one and were able to just come together and make this crazy thing. It's always my favorite kind of thing to do with food. Well, I want to tell you thank you very much for coming. I met him a couple weeks ago. We talked about Nantucket. You made all this happen, bro. Of course, man. Thank you Thanks so for much. For all of you guys watching, Nick, this guy is an awesome dude. He's even cooler in real life than he is on video. And you made something that I didn't think possible. That was as good good as I've ever had in my life. Thank you guys so much. Go check out Rob's channel. He is an absolute beast. He can catch anything. Happy cooking. We gonna make it? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Oh my God. We almost missed a ferry on the way home too. <laughs>